What's going on gardeners? It's Tuesday, December 6th and it is a late fall day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. On today's video, I'm going to show you a very affordable way to keep intrusive small animals out of your yard and garden so they stop attacking the harvest on your fruit trees and garden. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. I have a six foot tall perimeter fence around the entire perimeter of my backyard and it has been very effective at keeping large animals like deer out of my yard and garden. However, it's been fairly ineffective at keeping smaller animals out of my yard, and that's because the space from the bottom of the fence to the top of the lawn is actually wide enough that a lot of smaller creatures can squeeze their way in or dig their way in. Up until this point, the only pests that have really made it into my yard have been rabbits, and the rabbits just haven't done all that much damage, and that's because my garden itself is fenced in pretty well, and the rabbits haven't been able to get into my garden, and they they just can't really damage my fruit trees because they're too small. So because of that, I haven't really done anything about it. However, this has all changed recently, and that's because something has been able to burrow its way under my fence and has damaged half of the satsumas on my brown select tree and also ate half of my persimmons. And this happened over the course of only a couple of nights, and I found evidence that they were able to burrow their way in, so I'm fairly confident it's probably either a raccoon or a possum. Now we're dealing with substantial damage, and this means war. So I've been trying to design a way to keep these animals from digging and burrowing and squeezing underneath my fence. And I looked into various dig barriers that are designed to keep dogs from digging out of the backyard and escaping from underneath the fence. And they are incredibly expensive. To put up 40, 50 feet of dig barrier, it would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I just don't want to spend that much money. So I had to come up with some type of creative solution. So what I did was I purchased Squirrel Guard. This is six inch wide steel wire fence and it is coated in PVC so it will basically be uh, corrosion resistant for eternity or at least as long as this wire will last. So this is a 50 foot reel and this only cost me $30 shipped. So I think I should be able to enclose several of my panels of fence with this 50 foot reel if not cover all of it for only this $30 fee. And this is designed to keep squirrels and birds from nesting underneath solar panels that are installed on the roofs. So I think this will be a great solution to keep the critters out of my property. If you're interested in this exact product that I'm using to line the bottom of my fence, I will link it in my Amazon storefront down in the video description. So click that link and navigate over to the list disease prevention and pest control. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for places in my fence that have this big gap underneath. And then I'm going to take one of these manual edgers and I'm going to abut it right in between this four by four and the panel. And I'm going to press the manual edger down and I'm going to try to create an indentation in the ground down there because I really want to make sure that I bury some of that squirrel guard a couple inches into the ground. Now we're going to roll out the squirrel guard and we're going to cut it to the length so it fits in between the four by four posts of the fence. So I have a brick holding it down there at the exact position that the face of that four by four post is. And then I'm going to use these wire cutters and I'm going to cut this one to the proper length. Okay, now I have the squirrel guard cut to length and I also have it embedded about two inches deep into this little trench that I cut into the ground using that manual edger. So now that it is embedded so nothing can dig through without digging, man, a full on tunnel into the ground, I'm going to start securing this with a stapler. And now the squirrel guard has been secured in place and embedded into the ground. And it is now going to be very difficult for any kind of critter to get underneath that fence. And it's starting to get dark out, so I need to call it quits for this video for the night. But I'm going to continue to work, and I'm going to install the squirrel guard on every frame of fence where I see that there's an exposed gap. Well, it's December 15th, and I was finally able to identify exactly what was breaking into my yard. 
it was a possum. I set up a camera at night and I was able to catch it in my yard and verify exactly who was coming in and pilfering all of my persimmons and my citrus off of my trees. So originally I took that squirrel guard and I lined the most exposed areas of my fence and what I found was the possum simply went to a different area that was exposed and burrowed underneath and I was able to find evidence of how it was getting into my yard. So what I wound up doing was I took that entire 50 foot reel of squirrel guard and I lined all of the biggest gaps underneath my fence so nothing could easily get in. However, that 50 foot reel of squirrel guard was not enough to line all of the areas of my fence underneath that had an exposed gap in it. So I actually took all of these extra bags of mulch that I happen to have on hand and I lined the bottom of the fence so nothing would be able to get in underneath those gaps. And I'm very happy to report that between lining the gaps of my fence with the squirrel guard and blocking off any of the other exposed gaps, I was able to completely stop that possum from getting into my yard. Since I did all of this and cleaned up those exposed gaps, it has not been back and my orange tree has been safe. However, my goal is to eventually line all of the gaps underneath my fence. So I did purchase another reel of this exact same squirrel guard. And just like I mentioned earlier, this exact squirrel guard is linked in my Amazon storefront link down in the video description. So click on that and navigate over to disease prevention and pest control if you want this exact product. It's working fantastic. So that 50 foot reel of squirrel guard will be able to finish up the areas of the fence that has gaps underneath it. You can see where that mulch bag ends and that mulch bag begins. Those are the gaps that I have. However, there is nothing technically stopping that possum or any other mammal from burrowing under this area right here, which does not have an exposed gap, but you can still dig through. So eventually my end goal will be to line this entire portion of the fence with the squirrel guard. And that unfortunately is just a consequence of how my yard is laid out. This wall of my yard right here completely backs up to the woods and back behind that woods that you see right there is a creek. So that is fully open to any kind of wildlife and that is the best point of any kind of rodents or other mammals to access my yard. So I just have to defend this fence as best as I can. And while this portion of my fence back here against the woods is the most vulnerable, technically all of the fence will eventually have to be lined with squirrel guard to prevent mammals from entry and I'm just banking on the fact that it's a lot less likely that any kind of small mammals or rodents will enter from one of my neighbors property that doesn't have woods on it or over from my front yard but if that's the case there's really nothing stopping any kind of mammals from getting in from anywhere or even burrowing underneath the fence access points they can get in through the gates if they want to because there is open space underneath so technically speaking there is no way to 100 percent rodent proof or pest proof your yard. If there is a will, there is a way and technically things can find a way to jump the fence or dig under no matter what you do. But I am very happy to report that by simply taking away the biggest access vulnerabilities of my yard, that is the gap between the fence and the ground up against the portion of my yard that faces the woods, I was able to at least temporarily stop the possum from getting in. And I'm very happy to report this was a very cheap way Way of me being able to do this because like I said dig barriers would have cost me hundreds if not thousands of dollars to line the entire perimeter of my fence and being able to buy those 50 foot reels of squirrel guard which seem to be just as effective for less than $30 a piece is by far the cheapest way to do this and it seems to be highly effective so if you already have a perimeter fence up against your yard that keeps out most of the large pests like deer and such but you're struggling with rodents and things like raccoons and possums this is probably the cheapest and easiest way for you to keep the bulk of these pests out of your yard. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these. If you're curious about the products that I used in this video or that I use in my garden in general in real life, they are all linked down below on my Amazon storefront in the video description. So give that a click to see everything I use in real life. And while you're there, check out my spread shop for custom merch if you want to support the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. Dale, what did you do? You wiggled your way out of your pajamas. 
Dale has been doing this all the time recently. He's all excited to get in his PJs when he goes to bed, and then I wake up, and I come outside to his bed, and he's taking his shirt off. I guess he gets hot in the middle of the night. Does anybody else's dog take off their shirts when they sleep if they're too hot or something like that? Is this unusual? You're like a little Houdini. You're like a little Houdini. You're, you're, you're wiggling your way out of your clothing.